plug it, plug it like bridge. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to start off with foundation. This is the new Tom Ford foundation. Well, the new one for me. And I can't remember the name of it, but I'll leave it down below. I'm really sorry. Is it the shade at Tawny or Fawny? I can't remember that either. But it is a natural finish, which I do believe. I really love it. Then we're going to move it straight on to the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I'm just pop popping a little bit of Onopurna on my skin just to give it a little bit more of a tan look. Just because I need it a little bit darker. And then I'm going to go in with MAC. Pro Longwear Concealer in the shades NC45 and NC35. Just mix them together and I'm going to be popping this underneath my eyes. I also do my eyelids as well because I have a little bit of pigmentation there. And then I just use the Beauty Blender to kind of like dab all over the skin just for a really nice airbrushed finish. Then we'll be going in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Now my holy grail product is this shade Lyric. And I'm just going to be popping this underneath the eyes. It just really brightens and sets that concealer. And then I'm going to be setting it further with the Ben Nye Banana Loose Powder. Just kind of on my cheekbone area underneath, not going directly underneath the eyes. And I found that this stops my under eyes creasing. Then I'll be using the MAC Mineralize Loose Powder in Medium Dark. And I'm going to be setting everything in place. It's going to give us a matte finish. I don't usually do matte finish, but I'm kind of loving the matte finish at the moment. Then I'm just going to brush off that excess banana powder. And then I'll be using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray. We're just going to spray this all over. It just lets everything sink into the skin. Gives it kind of an airbrushed, airbrushed finish. And then use the Beauty Blender again just to kind of dab everything in place. And that is our skin done. Now we're going to be moving on to eyes. So I'm going to be using a dip down. Now this is dry. I need to get myself a new one. I'm just going to be filling my brows with it. Now I feel like I need to change my eyebrow game. Like I always do them the same. I need to do something different. But I'm going to do this kind of like a block brow I suppose. And then just use a spoolie to brush it through. Then using Max Paint Pot in Groundwork. I'm going to be priming the eyes with this. Now this is a really good tone for me because it's kind of of like the same color as my eyelids so I'm just gonna be popping that all the way up to the brow bone and then I use the excess powder on my contour brush just to kind of put the powder on my eyelid and then I'll be using the Morphe 350 palette I'm gonna be using this orange color I'm so sorry guys I've cut it off I don't know why I've done that but it's that orange color right at the end a burnt orange and we're gonna be popping this with a 224 brush, a MAC 224, which is a fluffy brush into the crease. And we're just going to work that into the crease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 217 brush, which is a little bit denser. And I'm going to be doing the outer and inner corners exactly with the same color. But it's just going to be a little bit more pigmented because the brush is denser. So just pop that in your inner and outer corners. Then going back to my fluffy brush. Well, this is a clean fluffy brush. We're just going to kind of blend an airbrush all of the edges we don't want any harsh lines i'm going to be using max blue brown pigment which is the star of the show it's beautiful it's blue then it's brown and then it looks a little bit purpley so we don't want to use too many colors on the eyes that's why i've just done one transition color i'm going to be using a fixing spray like this one and this is just going to make the pigment a lot more stronger. So then I'm just going to dab. You kind of want to dab, but I'm swiping, which is probably why I needed to apply more layers. But kind of try and dab so the pigment's a little bit stronger. And I'm going up to the crease. And then I'm just going to use a clean, fluffy brush again, just to kind of buff this color out. Now, because it's a pigment, it will fall. So just brush any pigment away. Now taking the orange colour, we're just going to do our lower lash line with this, just to smoke out as I usually do. Then I'm going to be using this Trolls Matte Collection pigment, this is the Teal Reflex pigment. And I'm going to be spraying my brush with a little bit of that fixing spray, and then just pop it in your inner corners, and that's going to give you a really nice kind of teal highlight. And then we're going to move on to liner. So use whatever liquid liner you want, I'm just using the Sigma Lace Detail Black Liner. I'm just going to do a thin line, and then I'm just going to give myself a wing. Now you can do it as big as you want. I've just it a little bit thicker towards the end and then I wanted it really really sharp so to achieve this I've kind of gone really really slowly and then lifted my brush at the end to give me a really sharp point then using Kat Von D's tattoo liner in Trooper I'm just gonna be doing the inner corner now I really struggle to do this inner corner flick wing but I think it came out okay I just spend a lot of time doing it and my eye shape I just don't feel is right for it 
and then I'm going to be using just any coal black liner and popping this in the water liner make it really 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 dark so all the lines are connected and then smudge that liner out into the lower lash line as well then using these dolly wink lashes unfortunately they don't have a name but i got them off ebay so i'll leave the link down below i'm going to pop these lashes on they're really really full really wispy really fluffy really pretty and they're quite affordable as well like i didn't think they were going to be so nice but they're so beautiful they look like this on the eyes and then just pop a little bit of mascara on your lower lash line i like to kind of build it up and get it quite chunky and then blend your natural lashes with your fake lashes as well now moving on to max christmas collection this is the nutcracker collection it's beautiful i'm going to be using whisper of guilt they've bought it back in the highlighter pack and i'm going to be popping this on to my brow bone now i felt like this was a little bit warm so i went in with max new highlighter range which is going to be part of their normal range and it's the one with the purple undertone it's a little bit cooler i felt like this went with the blue pigment in the blue brown pigment and so these are the eyes done then we're going to move on to cheeks so i'm going to be using the mac mineralize deep dark powder it's just a um, kind of warmer powder and we're just going to warm up the skin or bronze up the skin by doing the cheeks and the temple area and the jawline a little bit as well then going back into that little duo i'm going to be using this blush it's kind of like burnt pepper i would say by mac which is a good dupe for it it is that kind of burnt orange color. We're gonna be popping it on to the cheeks and then go back into Whisper of Guilt and I'm gonna be highlighting the cheekbones with this. Now I don't go all the way down, I just kind of try and stay a little bit more towards the top area. I don't bring it all the way down towards my nose area. Then we're just gonna be doing the usual pit, blah, 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 the usual places, which is the nose, the cupid's bow, and all that. And then I'm just gonna be using the same purple undertone highlighter and then just popping that onto the cheekbones, just the highest point of the cheekbone, so we can see see that kind of purpley undertone. Then I'm gonna be priming the lips with prep and prime. This kind of just fills in all the lines and makes your product that you're gonna put on next go on really smoothly. So I'll be using the lip liner in Boldly Bare. This has become my newest favorite. It's kind of like a peachy tone, peachy undertone, which I really like. So you just wanna define the lips with your lip liner. And then sticking with them peachy tones, I'm gonna to be using Lipland Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This is the Amreezy range, and this is called Reezy. I think it's beautiful. It is a peach undertone again, like a peachy nude. And I'm gonna be popping that into the center, and then I usually use my finger just to dab it out. And then we're gonna be popping on a little bindi. This is optional, you don't have to. I was kind of going for a Bollywood theme, which I'm loving at the moment. So just pop that in the center of your brows. And then I was struggling a little bit here, trying to put on this headpiece. I just wanna kind of give you guys a finished look. So then I back home my hair a little bit. I just wanted to, it to look a little bit Bollywoody. And then just to set my makeup in place, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Night Air Setting Spray just to make sure that this makeup is going nowhere. So that is it guys, I hope you really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Look at, look at like breeze. Oh, here, oh, oh.